that. I love that. How are you? This is the big reveal. And everybody, oh my goodness, what you guys have been guessing is hysterical. I think we may have oversold this just a little bit. Uh, Q and Danny, I love them. Hey, let me just tell you, they're going to be here in just a second to help me reveal the big announcement. Now, I want you to know that I got hot water this morning. I woke up and I was just praying because when I went to bed, the water was just just dribbling and and I, you know, I couldn't take a shower with it dribbling cold water. And so when I got up this morning, we had enough pressure to just, at least it was hot and it was enough to get wet and get my hair did and shaved before I come to the big announcement, everybody. 3,787 of you <clears throat> are tuned in. And, oh, uh, Q is going to be right here in just a second. But before we get that, we want everybody that wants to come in to come in, get a seat, 4,048 of you on four platforms. And we're going to sing a little something while you're coming in. I thought of this this morning. I love it. Well, give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Sing it, people. Keep me burning to the break of day. Well, everybody sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna. Hosanna to the King of Kings. Did you know that is in our hymnal? Singing to the Lord hymnal, uh, page 64. Give me joy in my soul. Keep me praising. Keep, give me joy. What does it say next? Give me joy in my heart. Keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising to the break of day. Well, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Man, I love that one. And I was just singing that in the shower this morning. I was so thrilled to have hot water. I was singing Hosanna. So today we're going to do the big reveal. 4,927 of you are here. Ooh, I hope y'all don't lynch me when you find yeah. out it's not that big a deal. I'm going to bring on Brother Q and explain what's happening from Nashville, Tennessee. Q Phillips. Hey, Q. Good morning. Hey, Mark. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. It's cold. It's uh, going to thaw out tomorrow. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, we have water. We have power. We've never lost it. So life is grand here. Oh, man. That is good. That is so good. So let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. So what I'm caused tell you, you to tell the story of how this came about? Okay. So what happened January the 23rd, about three o'clock in the afternoon, we received an email into your office from Marsha Wimby out in uh, Mill, Mill Edgeville, Georgia. That's a mouthful. And she was asking for four cassette tapes that she had bought long ago at a youth conference. And we didn't have them. They've never been made digitally. They've never been put on CD. And so we just didn't have them. Well, that's kept with me all day long. So about eight o'clock at night, I jump up and I tell Danny, I said, I got to go to the warehouse. So I go into the warehouse and I find a box that we have with some old masters and old tapes from your years gone by. And lo and behold, in that box, I find not four, but five masters 
to projects that you recorded well before the vocal band days. Oh yeah, uh, before, <laughs> before we all knew of you. Yeah, and this was in the. 79, 80, 81, 82, eight, probably all, all the way up to 88. 84, somewhere in that area, 88, yeah, something like that. So I got I got them back and I was a little worried and I, and I put them in and was listening to them and they were beautiful. They were in great shape. So I called you and told you, I said, hey, this is what we found. And lo and behold, in less than 30 days, we've turned them around and we are releasing Mark Lowry, The Early Years, which is a four CD project that's coming out. It's available for pre-order right now. So when we get done here, y'all can go to marklowry.com. It includes, it, it, for those of you who remember yep. that far back, it in, includes one entitled just Mark Lowry, and then one entitled Trust Me and See, and then He's Alive, and what's the other one? Resurrection, Resurrection. Song, which, which was a Bill Gaither song before I ever knew Bill and Gloria. I was singing their songs, of course. But um, also, I Also, Mark, there's Mark Lowry Live from yeah, Oh, yeah, that's right. And yep. so that's in a separate packaging. So you're going to get the four studio projects in one package, and then you get Mark Lowry live from Akron, Ohio, to go along with it. You're going to get all of those on the pre-sale special for thirty-five dollars. So there's five CDs. Yeah, four in the package, which are musical, and then right. one when I was this uh, this was recorded. Uh, you know, I n me never knowing if I'd ever get a recording contract or any any note of uh, what do you call it notoriety. Uh, I started making my own, you know, projects and, um, and that Mark Lowry live, you know, cause I had, I had developed the humor and I'd never made a humorous record. And this was the first, the very first one, just the cassette, I mean the audio. And then later came a video. Uh, but this was just audio. I think it was at a youth rally in 1984, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So we, I've listened to all five of these projects. Danny and myself have a lot over the last three and a half weeks, and we're just excited. It's gonna be fun. I think this is a lot of your you fans that are watching Mark today. Uh, I think you're really gonna enjoy these. You get to, to look back into what he was before he became the household name that he oh. is. The as I like to say, the legend. He's a, he reached legend status in Christian music. Oh my and, God! Please. I don't know. I love making your head just a little bit bigger. You don't think I pay you to talk like that? Well, but, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I am. I am glad these were available in eight tracks and cassettes yeah. and LP albums back in the day. And I'm looking at the one up there. Trust me and see. Lynn Kiesecker produced that, and he was my first connection to Word Records. So. Uh, that was my foot in the door to that world, really. And at the same time, uh, and and so Lynn and I made projects from 84 on to about 88. And he also helped on uh, Broadway, that project. But yeah. that was, all of these are pre-Gaither, pre-word recording contracts, pre-everything. When I had, I was the record company, I wrote many of these songs as I look through them. I've forgotten some. I can't, you need to send this to me too. I need to hear it. Cause yeah, I'll know if I wrote some of these, if I can hear them. Like that one on Mar the uphill road. I can't remember if I wrote that or not. Oh, hang on, Danny, Danny, jump in here. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Danny. <laughs> um, the uphill road actually was one of the ones. Oh, I'm out of time. Was what? Um, that was one of the ones that some of these we haven't been able to track down the songwriters because they're that old. Um, it predates a lot of the um, the systems that we have to track down publishing and things like that. So um, that's one that we're still hunting for. But you wrote uh, three or four on the self-titled Mark Lowry project. What was it? What was it um, Where's one? I, I want to do what is right. Yeah. Jesus in me. Eternity with me. Yeah. Um, there's several that you co-wrote with Lynn. 
um, on all of these projects, but yeah, there's probably three or four songs on each CD in the set. We lost you, Mark. I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I had myself muted. There you are. Wouldn't my mother have loved to have had that button? <laughs> <laughs> but um, let's see. Right now, on Trust Me and See, I'm looking at that project. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, Trust Me and See, I wrote. In fact, in 1988, when I sang at Estes Park on a Monday morning, and I got my recording contract with Word from that morning and the Gaither Vocal Band, I believe, because the sound man at Estes Park that year was the same sound man that Bill had. So they, you know, it was the same sound man. So when at the end of Estes Park, Bill asked him, did you hear anything interesting at Estes? And he mentioned me. And what I did that Monday morning was I did He Is Lord, He's a, a Claire Cloninger, Lynn Kiesecker song. And then I did Trust Me and See, which Lynn and I wrote. And uh, I did two songs and a story and a standing ovation. And I, and I am thankful because uh, Judy Spencer, who talked Cam Floria into letting me on that Monday morning, guaranteed him that I would get a standing ovation. Now, she never told me that, or I would have committed suicide the night before, just because <laughs> the expectation, and I wouldn't have done that. God, forgive me for saying that. That was wrong. But the expectation of, oh, if they don't stand up, you know, you're, you're he's, well, anyway, they did. And that was such an interesting morning because I had to walk off that stage. My dream had finally happened. I got to be on the stage at Estes Park. And I had to walk off that stage, get in a car, drive to Denver and fly to a youth camp in Georgia that I was booked at. And I couldn't get out of it, you know, but to spend the week there, to spend the week of just, you know, meeting people that I'd idolized and, and, and they had evidently liked me finally, validation, you know, it was, it was all of that is a young, young artist. And uh, those were the songs. Wings That's of awesome. Glory, I don't remember. The Great Defender, I don't remember. I don't remember a lot of these. I you know, it's amazing I, I, how I can remember the hymns, but I can't remember stuff I've recorded stuff that you wrote. And, <laughs> and, and have written. You know what I love, uh, folks? I'll tell you, I love listening to Mark doing Old Buddha. That's on the uh, He's Alive project. You're going to have some fun with that. He, he, he did such a cool job on it. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I haven't heard that in years. Uh, uh, Joy. Okay, Joy is one of the first songs I ever wrote. Really? Yes. Joy is not the absence of suffering. Joy is not the absence of pain. But joy is the presence of Jesus and the freedom to call on his name. Okay. I remember that. I think that's the first song I ever wrote by myself, music and words. Um, Ordinary People, I think that's the Evy song, maybe. Anyway, y'all need to send these to me, too, so let me hear them. But if y'all, all of you watching, all how many of you are watching right now? 3,398. You can go to marklowry.com. It's live now, isn't it? Yes. Yep. And you can get you all five of these projects. They will be released March, March 19th. 19th. But if you pre-order, your order will be shipped before release date. So you'll get it first. Yep. Oh, so if you pre-order yeah. and you have until when to pre-order? What do we say? The 10th, I think. I think no, the 10th. It's actually until the, until the 7th. Until oh, the no. 7th. Well, look, if you go and do it now, you won't have to worry about that. Exactly. It's and, 30 and you get the better price because uh, the pre the pre sale special is you get all five of these for thirty five. After they release, everything goes up, you know, to normal pricing. So. Okay. What um, about is there going to be a USB? Because uh, we haven't done that yet. Uh, we can do that. Uh, we uh, we because a lot of people that. don't have 
CDs anymore, you know? Absolutely. That, and then I'm also touring around. We'll see how it goes, but uh, we got some other ideas that we might pop out here later on down the road that'll be a lot of fun for it. So. Yeah. Uh, but seriously, guys, this is a great collection of projects, and I was just thrilled. And it's all because of Marcia sending the email, so we're going to let her know. She gets... She was the cause of this. Is what I'm going to give her credit for. So she's going to get some free merchandise from us because, hey, why not? If she, if she wouldn't have emailed us, I wouldn't have gone to the warehouse. So well, let's take well, every and I, we do thank you for doing that. Uh, but you know, I'm glad these projects are just not lost. I just figured, like, you know, they're just that's just the end of them. Like, and yeah. everything does have to come to an end. But. Sure. Uh, maybe this is not the end of them and they'll have a little bit more life and a little bit more of helping people. Yep. And I'm going to have to go through that box a little more detail and see what else I can find in there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you kind of got it all best. I can no, remember. No, no, no. We'll take a look and see. Yeah. You never know. Well, y'all Oh wait, could the uphill road have been written by a family man named Boyd? Did Lynn Kiesecker not know anything about that one? that one? No, we talked to Lynn uh, about this, and he filled in some of them, but that one he did not know. So, Does Shazam, can Shazam find it? <laughs> we've tried everything. We've really? You held all. Shazam up to it? Yeah, but it doesn't tell us who a, uh, it doesn't tell us who wrote it. Oh. Wow. And and it it's not in there, but the problem is, is you know, some of these songs, the way they kept records in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, some of it wasn't kept real good records. So finding these is next to impossible. Uh, <laughs> we we had some outside help to try to find them, and we were unsuccessful. But we did find the majority of them, so that was we were very happy mm -hmm. with that. So. Uh, Pam Olney Van says, I need a USB for my car. We'll get you taken care of. We'll, uh -huh. we'll get that run. Uh, Give us just a bit. It's going to take a little bit. On USBs take longer to get take uh, manufactured. And on release, they will be available uh, digital and streaming. Yes. So if you're able to stream in your car, then you'll have that option yep. as well. You'll be able to download them from iTunes and all of that. Okay, cool. On a release date. Those old projects that I had no idea would ever, you know, Why did they be know? anything but a cassette tape now are going to be digitized. Yep. Quite amazing. And well, I think most people, I'm, I'm sorry. These. So many of you have get, were thinking I was either joining the vocal band or getting married to Shonda Pierce. And I'm not we're doing either one. Colleen and Shonda, that was the top two. That was the top two guesses. Which one? You, were getting married, you and Colleen were getting married or you and Shonda. But, yeah. Well, yeah, I, love I, I love those ladies too much to marry them. <laughs> and so all right y'all take care right. go to marklowry.com slash store for yeah. more information and i will see y'all when i see you <laughs> bye 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 let me see here how do i well there it is alexa play mark lowry <laughs>